He was Le Grand Orange, the quintessential superstar on a team desperate for one. To be the first player to ever have his number retired by the Montreal Expos is a great honor. I loved being a part of the original Expos. I truly loved living here in the city of Montreal. Rusty Stubb, number 10, revered, remembered, retired. I think the, the most fulfillment I felt in my life in baseball was when I was able to give back so much to the game during those first three years that I was here. The gamut was, was heavy. I, I was very relieved after I finished the speech. <laughs> Rusty Staub was the Expo's first superstar, so it's only fitting he be the first to have his number retired. He was an all-star in each of his first three full seasons in Montreal. When he was sent to the Mets in 1972, he held virtually every Expo offensive record of note. He had clout, and it showed in the men he was traded for, Tim Foley, Mike Jorgensen, and Ken Singleton. He was the star. He was number one. Uh, not only what he did on the field for the Expos, but off the field as well. His appeal uh, transcended the baseball field and just uh, throughout the, the country itself uh, introduced baseball. Rusty Staub will always be an Expo first. That's how people remember him. That's how he wants to be remembered. I don't think any place took me into their, into their heart any more than happened here. And it's not that it's one better than the other. It's that it was so special here. Um, I think back to those days in Park Chari and the love affair that took place with the city and the whole organization. Um, to be a great part of that was, was tremendous. So like the man, Rusty Stobbs, number 10, is officially retired, which in a sense changes nothing really. A Grand Orange has been and always will be Expos Blue. Rob Sinclair, TSN, in Montreal.